Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add and set up and do everything with the MinePacks plugin for your Minecraft server. What is MinePacks? Well, it's a backpack plugin that allows you to open up a backpack pretty much anywhere and it even allows you to like automatically fill like your backpack if your inventory is full, which is pretty cool and you can control that with permissions. A lot of it is controlled with permissions, which in and of itself is pretty cool. And overall, this is just a really cool flipping plugin. So we're going to go over every single step of getting this in game and setting it up and configuration and configuration files and everything. And this is all going to be covered here. But first, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below at the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DNS pick in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below at the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an awesome server running my packs up and running quick and easy. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. So first and foremost, we need to go to this link in the description down below because I'm gonna be going over pretty much everything on this page in this video and if you wanna follow along, you can because this is the second link in the description down below. Once you're here though, what what, what, what does this do? What does this plugin do? Well, as you can see here, it gives you a backpack that you can control the size of using permissions. As I said, it allows you to auto collect stuff if your inventory is full into your backpack. It allows you to do MySQL syncing. For example, if you have two servers, you wanna sync items together on those two servers with the backpack you can do that it has an item filter allowing you to remove and blacklist stuff from going into the backpack and overall it's just simple to access with let's just slash bp slash bp in game opens up the backpack it's that easy now if we scroll on down we can see all the different plugin or the all the different commands of the plugin here slash backpack help list all of the commands in game i like to see that you can do slash backpack to open the backpack. You can do slash backpack clean to remove all the items in your backpack. Just clear them out. Let's say it's full of cobblestone. You don't need that cobblestone. You can do slash backpack space clean and it will delete that and remove it from the game forever. You can do slash backpack clean of another user if you are a admin and want to clean a, another user's backpack for some reason. And then you can do slash backpack and then user of another player to show the, you know, other player's backpack if you are an admin. We then do have permissions. We have the wildcard permission backpack dot asterisk. That should only be for like ops. We have backpack dot use and that's going to allow players to open a backpack. I'd give that to everybody. And then we have backpack dot full pickup. Now this can, as you can see, needs to be enabled in the config, but basically you can assign a permission. This could be cool if you had like a really high rank on your server, like a VIP plus rank, and you wanted them to automatically fill their backpack when their inventory is full, but no one else on the server, everybody else had to put it in there manually. You can do that that with the backpack full pickup permission here and you can also make it to where everybody on the server does that all that is kind of explained in the config and we'll go over that here in a second then you do have all the backpack sizes one two three four five and six so you can go down through there if you would like and you know up that via ranks you can make it to where admins have six your top rank has five your middle rank has three and your bottom rank has one and basically these are rows so one row two rows three rows four rows or five five rows or six rows of your backpack one being the smallest one row six being six rows the biggest and they are all nine wide because all of minecraft's inventories are nine wide the backpack dot clean permission allows you to clean out your own backpack using that command and delete everything in it. The backpack clean dot other allows you to do that for other people. That's only going to be for admins. Backpack dot others allows you to view the backpacks of other players without removing stuff. That can be helpful on servers where you want to see what other players have. You know, hey, look at my backpack, for example. You could do that there. And then you can do backpack dot others dot edit if you want people to be able to change and remove and add items to other people's backpacks. Only do that for admins. And then backpack keep on death. So one of the interesting things about this plugin is when you die, it will actually drop all the items of your backpack onto the ground unless you have this permission or have it changed in the config to not do that. Then backpack no cooldown. By default, there is no cooldown for the backpack, but if you do add one, you can give this permission to make that cooldown go away. So yeah, that's kind of that. That's a quick overview of the permissions. I know it's a lot all at once, but whenever you're ready to download this, you can just click the blue download button kind of in the top right up here. Now you will need to keep this file on Google Chrome and on Mozilla Firefox. You'll need to save the file in the center of your screen. But then once you've done that, we can minimize our browser. Here it is on my desktop for you. It might be in your downloads folder, but to install it, just open up your Minecraft server and drag and drop it into your plugins folder. Then I'm going to go ahead and run the Minecraft server. 
get things ran here and you'll see it enable actually as the server is loading so it's gonna go through here kind of do some things and load up the world and do everything it needs to do for a Minecraft server but most importantly it is going to enable our plugin which I think it has already done but we got to let it finish loading up before it'll let me go back and show you Oh, there it is as you can see starting mine packs enabling mine packs everything is good it is set up successfully so there we go there is that now if we go into our plugins folder we do have the mine packs folder and then in here we have the languages file so if you want to edit your languages like your you know what the plugin says you can do that in the en.yml file there you'd have the backups and then you do have the database and this is basically where all of the backpack data is being stored and then you do have the config.yml which I'm opening up right now because we want to dive into that config.yml kind of go over some of the configuration for you that way you can understand it when you're configuring it for your own server and make sure that everything is good to go right so let's go ahead and get that open up with my text editor of choice which is Adam here and then once we're in here, we can go through it all. So first and foremost, backpack title other. So if you open up another player's backpack, what is that going to say? What's it going to look like? Well, it's going to look like this owner's name being the owner of the backpack and then their backpack. What if you open up your own backpack? Well, that's going to be called backpack. But I'm going to change this to play.breakdowncraft.com backpack just because that's our server, the best Minecraft server in the universe, play.breakdowncraft.com. And I like to make some changes in the config. Drop on death. So as I said, you could enable this and change it using the permission if you want but you can also do it for everybody whether you want it to be true or false when someone dies whether the backpack drops there as you can see backpack keep on death permission here will basically change that even if it is true here max size you never want to change that as you can see going bigger than six will break the gui so you don't want to do that what modes can you access the backpack in survival creative adventure whatever you want here by default is survival, you can add more with a comma using this format right there. Cooldown, as I said, by default there is no cooldown, but if you wanted to add in a cooldown right here in seconds, you could do that, 600 seconds for example. However, negative one is going to disable that cooldown. Then we do have the sync option. If you are running this on a bungee cord server, want the backpack cooldown to sync across bungee cord servers, you can turn that on right here. Now, full inventory item collect. If the inventory is full, does it collect items automatically? If you want to make this true for everybody on the server, no matter what, you can just change it from false to true right here. Otherwise, you can do it using a permission that we, of course, talked about at the beginning of this video. Check interval, you probably will never change. And collect radius is what kind of a radius around players does it grab items from and put them into the backpack? By default, it's 1.5. You could do 3, you could do 5, you could do 100 if you wanted. Don't do that, but you could. Database. Now, I'm not going to be going over setting this up with MySQL or anything. We're just going to be leaving it as SQLite. But if you want to set this up with MySQL, sync it across Minecraft servers, you can do all of that here. And it's all set up pretty easy to kind of get everything working. But you can do that if you want. And that is pretty cool. Shulker boxes is something I wanted to talk about. By default, shulker boxes cannot be added to backpacks. That's just because if you can do that, you can really expand the storage almost infinitely, right, using shulker boxes. So as you can see, backpack prevent is true by default. If you want to allow shulker boxes, you change this to false. Now, the unique feature of this plugin is you can actually disable shulker boxes altogether, making them uncraftable on the server by changing this from false to true. Now, most people probably wouldn't want to do that, but if you did, there you go. Now, if we come on down here, we do have the item filter, and this is the last thing that we're going to be talking about here. And the item filter basically means these are items that are blacklisted and not able to be added in game. So you can change this to true, and then you can come down here and list all of the different items that you want added into the blacklist. If they're on this blacklist, they cannot be added into your backpack in game. They just won't do it. They won't go in there automatically. You can't even add them manually yourself. If you try to add them, they'll just jump back into your inventory. It will not work. I'm not going to turn that on, but that is something there. At this point, you can save the config. We can come back over here to the uh, you know command prompt, and we can do a mine pack reload, or sorry, backpack reload. See, backpack reload. Boom, and then it will go ahead and reload the plugin. Now, I'm going to go ahead and jump in game. What is that? Play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse? I think so. Come play with this on this server with Creep Protect Survival and Incredible Custom Skyblock. You will absolutely love it. Right now, it's non-peak hours. It's 11 o'clock at night. 77 people online. Peak hours, over 200 players. So come play with us. Play.breakdown. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Excuse me. I'm going to join on into this server here where I am opt. So I'm going to have access to everything by default. For example, if I do slash BP, right, the slash BP command, it's going to open up the play.breakdowncraft.com backpack. As you can see, it cuts off there, but oh well. It's going to open up this backpack. 
And in here we can add in items and things like that. Now, if I was a default player, if I was an opt, I might only have one row. Might not be able to open it at all, depending on how you have your permissions set, but you can change that there. So let's go ahead and do something a little interesting. I'm gonna take some of this out, but remember that backpack clean command? So to open this backpack, all you need to do is do slash backpack and hit enter, right? That's gonna open the backpack. Then you also have some other commands. So we can do backpack clean. When we hit that, it's going to, if we open our backpack back up with slash backpack, Nothing. It's all gone. It didn't go back into our inventory or anything. It vanished because you cleaned the inventory. We can then do slash backpack empty. It's going to be the same thing. And then you can also do reload the plug in there. So you can do slash reload. You can also back up backpacks. Let's say you have an inventory that you're really wanting to keep. You can back that up and get it back later. Really no reason to ever use that, but it is there. And then last but not least, you can do backpack space open and then another username. So you can do like space open and then Nick's games or whatever your username is and enter that in there or whatever any player on your Minecraft server's username is. Um, you can also clean other players' backpacks by doing backpack space clean and then their username. I would use that very sparingly though. But yeah, that's pretty much this plugin. It's, it's very, very simple, right? There's not much to it. Slash backpack, slash backpack space clean. And that's it. That's really all you need to know. Most of it is done with permissions by adding in those different backpack rows. To explain that real quick, basically size one means that, excuse me, let me open this backpack up. Size one means you'll just have this top row. Size two means you'll have the first and second row. Three, all three of these rows. Four, all four or five all five and then six, it'll look like this right here with six rows. So yeah, that's pretty much that. That is the backpack plugin for Minecraft 1.14 and actually all new versions of Minecraft. I expect to get this plugin. It's a very, very popular plugin and the developer is very, very active on it, which is something I like to see. But thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and of course, come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. It is a mighty fun time over there and you will absolutely love it with our 25 custom quest on medieval survival, our slash shop based economy on aquatic survival, and of course, custom skyblock with custom islands, OP enchants, and a ton of awesome fun on play.breakdowncraft.com skyblock. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. All the information is in the description down below. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'm out. Peace.